After reading chapter 6 carefully, answer the following questions. What did monks do after getting the gold locked? He threw it into the water and threatened Mr. and Mrs. Bumble that they mustn't tell anyone about what he had done. Why did Nancy go to Fagin's house and what happened there? She went there to get some money for Bill Sykes. She met monks there and listened to his conversation with Fagin. So she decided to go and find Miss Rose Mill. What might the woman at the hotel desk think Nancy came to? She might think that Nancy came to beg money from Rose. What happened between Nancy and Rose? Nancy told Rose that she was the woman who took Oliver back to the house of the thieves. She then told her that Monks was an evil man who wanted Fagin to make Oliver a thief. What did Nancy learn from Monks? She learned that Monks is Oliver's half-brother and he was trying to make Oliver a criminal and get him imprisoned. She also learned that Monks knew where Oliver was staying, so she wanted Rose to help Oliver. Why did Monks want to put Oliver in trouble? He wanted to take all their father's money for himself, so he threw the gold locket which is the only proof of Oliver's bloodline. Where and when did Rose and Nancy agree to meet? They agreed to meet every Sunday night at 11 on London Bridge. What did Mr. Brownlow suggest to help Oliver? After Rose met Mr. Brownlow and Mr. Grimwick and told them everything she had known from Nancy, Mr. Brownlow suggested that they should talk to Monks alone. What did Noah play plan to do to be rich? He stole money from Mr. Sourbury. Then he ran away to London where he could take things from other people. What terrible news did Fagin receive at the end of the chapter? He learned that the police have arrested the artful dodger. Important quotations. Now we can all forget all about this story, can't we? Who said these words and to whom? Monks said these words to Mr. and Mrs. Bumble. Where were they and what had the speaker just done? They were in an old factory and monks had just dropped the gold locket into the river. What did he want them to forget and why? He wanted them to forget that they met him and gave him Oliver's gold locket. And of course, in order to be impossible for everyone to know who Oliver is. He said that the only thing that could explain who the boy really is lies at the bottom of the river. Who said these words and to whom? Nancy said these words to Miss Rose. Whose speech is the speaker reporting? The speaker is reporting Monk's speech to Fagin. What's that lies at the bottom of the river? The gold locket. It was easy to take money from Mr. Sourbread. I think I would be a good, a good thief. Who said these words and to whom? Noah said these words to Charlotte, who is his wife. Where were they? When that was said, they were in an inn in London, 
where they were eating dinner. Who overheard these words and what was the result? Pagan overheard this and he offered to let them join his gang of thieves and they agreed. Find the mistake and correct it. Monks threw Mr. and Mrs. Bumble into the river. Monks threw the gold locket into the river. Fagin and Monks talked in the room where Nancy was. Fagin and Monks talked privately upstairs. Noah came to London to start a business. Noah came to London to be a thief. Fagin learned that Jack Dawkins has been killed. Fagin learned that Jack Dawkins have been arrested. Monks wanted Fagin to make Oliver a doctor. Monks wanted Fagin to make Oliver a criminal or a thief. Thanks for listening with Nafam, learn easily and simply.